Hello everyone, and in this video, we'll explore VWAP. So it's basically a terminal uh, that supercharges uh, your developer workflow. Uh, so I got access to the private beta, which it is currently in, and you can request the access from VWAP.dev. So I got the I recently got the access, and um, uh, the terminal looks pretty cool. So we'll walk through some of the features that you know uh, I feel are interesting. So first of all, it's it's um, you know uh, from the bottom block by block. Uh, it's not from uh, the above that the usual terminal flow looks like. So for example, cube, cl get odds. So the command and the output goes block by block. Uh, the reason being um, there are additional features linked to it. Uh, like if I press command and up arrow key, I can navigate uh, through different blocks with their output. And if I uh, click on three dots, I can copy the command. And I can command V. I can copy the output. And I can do command V. And I can even copy uh, both. And I can share as well. So this is very, very interesting feature. So I can share. I can generate a link. So it generates a link. Now, uh, this link I can share in the browser. And if I click on the browser, the link you can see, like you can share your kind of uh, work output or uh, you know uh, some interesting commands that, that you have been working on for debugging purpose directly to uh, your coworkers. So this is pretty interesting. So whenever I'm writing a command uh, like kubectl run nginx uh, hyphen hyphen image equal to nginx. So basically, this is a command. And if I forget something, uh, I can actually go, uh, you know, I just click this without uh, anything. And I can select any of the thing. I can do a different set of operations like uh, com um, command A to select all, just uh, select this thing. I can select the whole text. So all these things uh, I can easily do. And uh, that's pretty you know, handy thing. So if I want to insert anything here, anything here, let's first uh, create a namespace, kubectl, create namespace test. So what we'll do is kubectl run nginx, iPhone iPhone image. Nginx, and I can do shift enter, so I can enter multiple commands uh, within the same kind of, uh, you know, uh, same block. So kubectl get pods. Now, if I need to add um, a command, a uh, kind of a normal flag um, with all the commands that I have mentioned. So what I can do is I can just press command and click this block as well. And you can see the cursor. You can see the cursor appearing in both lines. So I can type hyphen n and test. So it will run uh, you know, uh, the first command and the second uh, command line by line. So it created the pod index, and then it gave me the output that it is container creating. So I think that's pretty handy as well, uh, and also with that also like if i press again up arrow up arrow then i can see in a visual way as well uh, all the commands that are there i can scroll them via my cursor so these are also there i can uh, you know select any of these so it will come as it is over here then control c again works very simply there is also a command palette command p which gives all the interesting features like uh, you know uh, maybe create a new create a new tab and we can learn the shortcuts as well um, uh, from this. So basically the visual history is really good. Uh, then obviously you have a control R uh, for your command search like get or TSH. This was something that I was doing with uh, um, teleport. By the way, teleport 7.0 is dropping today. So the command search also works uh, smooth. Uh, there's tab completions. Uh, so let's say I want to export a variable or just I want to go to some directory. So maybe cd slash. Uh, you can see, like, it gives you in the visual way users. Then you can see documents, downloads, desktop. So all these things are there. Uh, there is another set of another kind of tab completion, which is uh, very interesting. Uh, let's say I press go. 
and press tab so all the commands are there with uh, kind of explanation what this command actually does like what will go clean do glow doc glow, go env same for uh, git so maybe git git checkout then branch so obviously i have to give uh, some additional parameters but it, it navigates you so it uh, helps and tab completion as well gives you some of the cool uh, you know insights over there as well so the the block by block approach uh, i think is really you know uh, good uh, you can copy paste the sharing is is good the copy paste itself is good insertion of uh, multiple insertion of a particular flag in multiple lines uh, writing multiple lines in, in a single uh, block and yeah these are some of the cool features that i have explored yet uh, but i'm also interested uh, in some of the upcoming features yeah so these ones we have seen like the auto completion command palette and uh, you know block our visual history and some of the others uh, the interesting ones that are coming is real time collaboration so this would something be you know very interesting so uh, you know the team collaborating on a single terminal i think that's pretty cool so i'm i'm really looking forward for the upcoming features so till now uh, i'm liking it uh, yeah there there are some of the settings as well so if you go here in the settings you have dark theme uh, and you have font size very easily that you can do shortcut screen which is uh, enabled so yep i think overall uh, a nice a nice touch and uh, you know uh, it, it it is kind of different at first because um, i'm used to you know top to bottom approach of writing the commands and doing all that stuff uh, but we'll get used to it so block by block execution is kind of interesting because there are different features that are attached to the block by block approach so that's it for uh, the some of the commands that i have tested out on vop um, uh, and some of the things that i feel uh, you know are really cool so looking forward to um, the, uh, another set of amazing features. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel for uh, you know uh, the awesome live streams that keep on happening. Uh, by the way, there's WSL week which is happening. Um, so make sure you check that out. Thank you all. Bye.